Hey everyone, it's Arjuna here, and I'm going to be showing you in this video how to add captions and symbols to all of your cast members when you start a new show. What I always do to start off is I do a new form for what's going to be a different section in the entire band. So I do a different form for every single section, and I'll show you why in just a minute. I'm only going to do three forms right now because I'm only going to make three sections to save some time. And then I'm going to add the correct amount of people for each section. And this is to represent a different section for each one of these forms. Great. After that, so you can't tell that these people are different sections or that they have captions or anything yet because we haven't set it to do so yet. So up here in options, we can choose view. And now we're going to choose to view all the captions and you want to have it as caption and you're going to want to choose over here as uh, show cast as symbol and if you want the colored background you can choose symbol background or you can deselect that and then it won't show any of the color in the background I'll just show the symbol uh, you can change the size and font of the symbols of both the caption and the symbol if you want right here but we're just going to leave it as default for now and select OK now you can see here that everyone is selected as B for their symbol. B stands for brass, that's just default what it does. And each separate form has the correct amount of numbers as the caption in each of these forms here. And again, so the reason here that I did a different form for each section to start off with is say I had a band of 50 people in it total and you wanted to add 50 people to one form but now you can see here that there's going to be numbered from 1 to 50 for the entire band as their captions and most likely you're not going to want to do your captions that way because say this is your flute section and it's 1 through 10 but over here is your mellophone section and it's 39 to 50 and you don't really want it to be 39 to 50 you want it to be 1 through 11, you would have to manually change every single one of these captions, which is a waste of time. So if you do it in a separate form and then add the cast, it's going to automatically give you the captions that you need and you won't have to change anything. And that's why I do a different form for each section to start off. So after that, all you have to do here now is um, label each one of these sections and colorize them if you want. So I highlight each section. You can hit enter or you can go up here and hit properties. Enter is much faster. And right here you're going to be selecting the symbol for that section. So for say this section is the flute section. And right here is the actual section. If you want to label them you can. You don't have to. As long as you la label this symbol right here it's going to give them this symbol. This is just for your own sake. You don't really have to do it. Up here you can change the color. I always have my flutes as pink. This uniform option right here is going to bring your drop down menu of all the um, uniforms that you've made and all the uniforms that are automatically preset. And again, these are the uniforms that show up in the view mode for the old Field Artist 2. The one you probably really want to worry about is the true view mode. The equipment's already, um, or the uniform's already set to win player, which is fine. You want to change the equipment to that correct equipment. It's going to be a flute. And then you select OK. So now all of our flutes are labeled as flute and not B for brass. And you're set to go. They have the correct uniform. And you're ready to label the rest. You do the same thing for each one of your sections. It's going to be M for mellophone. I always do blue for them. Change the Field Artist 2 view mode for them. And then change the True View Equipment. And do the same thing for your last section. These are going to be trumpets. I do them as red. Change the uniform here. And by default, the equipment's always trumpet, so that makes that a little bit easier. And then select OK. So now everyone is labeled correctly for you to get ready to start writing drills and you will always know which section is which.
Um, you can now go to here, which is the uh, Field Artist 2 view. And that's the older view that I do not use very often. And then you can click this box here, which is, of course, the true view mode, which makes everything look much better. You can zoom in, of course. See that everyone has the correct uniform on and the correct instrument. And you're set to go. Now let's go back up here to options one more time and go to view. And I want to show you that you can also change the connector length of the caption to the letter. That's the little line that connects this number to this letter and does it for every single person um, that you've got on the field there. So you can do a really long caption. I'm not exactly sure how far it lets you go. It normally tells you. And then, it, as you can see, the lines got a little bit longer and further away from each other. Or you can change it again, make it shorter, the length. Six is the lowest it goes, I know that much. And now the numbers are much closer to their symbols. I always do six as the connector length because it prevents from uh, numbers colliding with other letters that don't belong to those numbers and letters basically. So you can always tell which number goes to which letter. So even if I were to move this form pretty close up here, you can still basically see that which number goes with which. But also you can see here that still, even with the smaller connector length, that some of these numbers kind of collide with other letters. See this 5? This actually goes with this mellophone player over here. But there's a solution for that as well. You can go to cast, select the cast members that are having the issue, and you hit control and the letter K. And that allows you to put um, the numbers in any direction you want. And you can even do it for individual people and change the number. You can do it for multiple people. Or you can do it for the entire band and change the numbers. Whatever you need to do to make sure that Whoever's going to be viewing this drill can tell which number goes with which letter. So that's kind of a cool feature that's in there. I'll go ahead and change this because that doesn't look good. And then you're basically all set. You've got everyone labeled, you have all the uniforms selected, and you're ready to start writing drill. You just got to start charting them out. All right. Thanks again, guys, for viewing. Let me know if you have any questions.